All right, guys, welcome back. <laughs> More days gone. Doing a bunch of intros right now. Uh, it's crazy how good this game is. I still, I still think it's like the reviews were polarizing, but I feel like the game itself, after playing it, I don't care how it ends at this point. Everything I've seen up to this has been amazing. So uh, thank you guys for kind of sticking with me on this game. I know it's a long game, uh, even if I've got other things starting soon. Uh, alongside of this, I will be finishing this no matter what. My goal is to have this beat before I even play anything else, but that's just not feasible. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes, though. I love you guys. Let's get this. Taylor. <sighs> Dickens, St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? That fucked up, man. I didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I, I don't want to hang. Hey, listen to me, Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. You kick and you kick Wait. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. Man. They're laughing at you. I don't want to hang. I don't wanna... Please... Don't let them hate me. Fuck. Fuck. Please, man. Okay, wait. St. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. not going to be happy about this. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdosed. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time, assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. That was a really good mission. I kind of hate how it all happened with Taylor and everything, but I, I felt like... Oh, wait, I actually got how to... How he survive is 100% done now. Nice. Oh, look at the skins. I need to get back to where I can put skins on my stuff. I wasn't able to last time. All right, see what's active right now. Uh, all right, protecting the weak. Turn to Diamond to talk to... 
Cory, okay. That's the same thing. It's not too far away. I feel like once I start driving over there, what kind of gas am I at? 85%? Mmm. It might be alright. The minute I go out here, I'll get a call, I'll come back, we'll do the main stuff. This isn't too far away either. Deacon, oh, hold on. Are you there? Deacon and Sarah need to talk to you. Uh, yeah, hey, I'm here. You sound kind of cheerful. I had a breakthrough. Look, all I needed was that DNA sequencer. I'm ready to test it. Deacon, I'm ready to test my serum. Wow, okay. Um, what do you need from me? I'll tell you when you get here. Sarah, out. All right. Well, <laughs> change of plans, change of plans. That actually is something I can also fast travel to. to talk to Corey over there. Uh, all right. This could be it. Story mission. Sounds promising. I feel like I should save my game really quick. Job in progress for uh, Colonel. Oh, yeah. I haven't done this in a while. That's it. All right. Just go over here. Oh, yeah. This game's been... Man, it's been so good. I think I... It, it's my hey, it's my game of the year right, right now. Job. I know that that could change yeah, in Sarge. the future. How's life? Oh yeah, upgrade the hell out of that thing, right? Okay, now that's more like it. Uh, frag grenades. I don't. I just don't feel like I use that stuff that much. Weapons. What is so good about this one? Hold on. Special forces. As a 20 clip, the penetration, that's what it is. Damage is a little different. Uh, that thing looks nasty. The Chicago Chopper is what I, I guess, comparable to this. But it's also a shotgun. Yeah, okay. Alright, I'm good. Hey, Corporal St. John. I'll catch you later. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna do this cutscene, then I'll stop everything. Give me one second. Actually, don't. Don't give me one second. I'm just gonna keep going. What am I talking about? Wait, hold up. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I'm so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a nude. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Oh, wait, hold on for a second. A specific nude? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Nudes. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. Interesting. <sighs> colony of nudes. Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Hurry out. <sighs> Shit. Oh, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. So you got the cure versus the weapon. The old, uh... Sir, Popular here. thing. Hi. You're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. I need them for the serum. Okay, uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know, just... Just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. Well, the good, I guess the good thing is I can just go ham, <laughs> swinging. But yeah, man, it's been crazy. This, the fact that this series is over 60 parts long and you guys are still watching says a lot. Uh, I try to just play games and not suck. Try to give you guys the best possible experience without actually... You know, if you can't afford the game, that's kind of why I do it like this. Um, and it's almost just like a journey. I'd say it, the first time I played The Last of Us, uh, a lot of games like that just... You know, you sit there and you, you play them, 
but you almost get attached to the characters in the game. You kind of become a part of it. We're all experiencing it at the same time. So it's just kind of... I don't know, it's just emotional. <laughs> it's like towards the end, you're like, damn, it's over. It's like watching a really good show with a bunch of people, and then it's all of a sudden just over. So, all right, where is this special newt at? Oh, here it is. I wonder if they got it. Oh, surrounded by... God damn you, little shit. Oh, Jesus. I think I got it. There's a thing inside, though. So I, hold on, let me come back really quick. Let me see if I can open this. Yeah, I saw that, like, little symbol. Another micro recorder. Yeah, I'm going to put it on these things. Shit. Let me just hurry up and grab this. Another Nero injector. Straight into the veins, baby. Are you? I need some peace and quiet. Are you? No way. Alright, it's all of them. Oh my goodness, yo. Alright. Alright, let's go to health and... We're 300 now, nice. Alright, let's go out there and get this taken care of. Jesus Christ! Uh, hey, Captain. Uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, yeah, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, the Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no. I can't have any of that, sir. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. Come on, help me. Come on. Come on. So much for your tranquilizer. Yeah, well, the biologist is kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. What I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. you put in that. That shit went down fast. Damn it! <laughs> but you're, you're... You're not making a bioweapon. You're... Oh my god, are you, are you... Are you trying to cure it? I thought... Once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. I can't save them. Nothing's going to be able to change them back.
So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once, and she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way that you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer. Boozer, you know, he's... <laughs> He says he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years, but I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find her, we're gonna ride away, we're never gonna look back because I don't wanna be part of some militia. I don't wanna fight in a war and I don't wanna live in some camp. So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, Seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there are just trying to survive, and here you are. Trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah? Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Uh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um, hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I figured that I think should... you should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... Right, I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to... Slow them down, maybe set a few traps. 
And then I blow him to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. 